What's up, guys? It's Andrew here. What's up? This is Jake. Hey, this is Cole with Skate Warehouse. We're doing a wear test on the Cons Jack Purcell Polar Collab. A little bit about the shoe. Jack Purcell created his signature shoe in 1935 and it's remained a popular shoe. Just recently, Converse has turned this into a fully functioning skate shoe. I've been skating these shoes for two weeks now. I don't put a lot of wear on shoes, but these shoes feel and look the same as the first day I put them on. First thing I noticed when I put the shoe on and rolled around the park was that it was a flimsier shoe, but it did hold its shape super nice and it broke in instantly. I felt like I've been skating them for weeks on end, but it was really just the first day. Since this is a full suede shoe with added rubber around, you're gonna expect a lot more durability and the shoe is gonna keep its form and I think that's something everyone looks forward to in a good skate shoe. I'm a big fan of the Con CTSs, so I was really excited to skate the Jack Purcell. It's definitely a step up and I think it's because of the Zoom Air insole. Definitely a lot of board feel because of how thin it is, but still that padding on the heel for those drops. Since this is a Converse and Polar collab, there's a lot of polar accents on the shoe. On the back right here, you're gonna see the happy and sad logo, which is a very common logo with polar. And you're also gonna see their main logo on the top of the heel. Cool accent I thought on the shoe was some of Pontus Al's artwork on the inside of the tongue. The original Jack Purcell shoe did have a bulkier toe cap, more rubber to it. Converse did decide to tone this one down a little bit compared to that, but compared to the CTAS shoe, it does have more rubber on the toe cap. It did not affect my kick flips and my feel for the board and flicking and whatnot, and I was stoked upon that. Uh, the shoe is very versatile. You're not really limited on what you can skate. You can skate ledges, stairs, handrails, curbs, manual pads, anything really. It'll hold up just fine. I was a big fan of this shoe. I really like the sleek, low profile look of it. I'd have to say I'd definitely pick myself up another pair. And you should go pick yourself up at skatewarehouse.com.